that happened in 1847 when Ferraro family got wiped out down by the mountains. I mean, the Indians no. killed them off. So anyway, all the gold that they had, <clears throat> the Indians the, put back up in the caves and just covered them up, you know, with, you know, with rocks and branches and cactuses, and, and nobody knows where they're at. Okay. You know. So anyway, they killed around oh, close to 270 people, and from there. From 18, uh, let's see, 1891, <laughs> the Lost Dutchman, which was one of the most richest of the claims, uh, the guy that's who uh, found it, so they named it after him. <clears throat> but uh, keep going. Oh, okay, and uh, the thing is, uh, he died, and he tried to pass the uh, treasure on. He was 91 years old when he died, and he was he had pneumonia. Okay. And he was trying to tell it to this woman and another man, and he drew a little map of the area. And of course, they'd never been in the mountains, so they didn't know where it was at. Okay. I mean, it's like if I drew you a map, and you've never been in the mountains, you're not going to find it either. Right. So the same thing happened to these two people. And then later on, she sold maps to people, and they'd been trying to find it and from 1891 down to say 2000 and say uh, 15, they found over a hundred different bodies that people have killed each other. Okay. People come up missing. People's had their heads chopped off. Seriously. Now That's you're that. hoping to come back alive from this expedition, oh, aren't you? Yeah, I've been in the mountains. Because yeah, our I subscribers will will certainly want that to happen at our definitely uh, our and, uh, crew funding. I always, but I always pack a but gun. But but what I want you to do is to explain. Uh, now you have heard of the Lost Dutchman's Gold Mine, haven't you? Um, I I believe so. I think I might have heard of it. Just, well, why uh, don't you tell him all about it while he's? But go on. I'm sorry. Tell me what you know. Start kind of over. No, no, no. no we're doing fine. Oh, okay. Tell, like I think I, I've heard of the whole, um, you know, people going out and trying to find this treasure and they 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 die and they come. Yeah, they get and, killed. Yeah. A lot of people, oh, no, I'm sorry. Get, yes, a lot ahead. of people. Yeah, That's you can about all I've heard about it, people. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot. Of, so I'm, tell tell them the basic story of the. Well, the, there's. Uh, Different people, like there was a couple soldiers, they were uh, coming from the, let's see, the Silver King Mine, that was over by Wilson, or Pickett's uh, uh, post. And then there's another one where they used to also have a garrison over at uh, McDonald, too, that they had uh, cavalry. But anyway, they were, they got mustered out and they were going by to go to this mine. And uh, anyway, they found it, picked up some, you know, rocks that was on the slag pipe, you know, and stuff around it. And uh, they took it with them, but they didn't know what they found. When they got there, they found out it was rich gold ore. Mm -hmm. And so they uh, gave the uh, mine owner the gold to hold for him and took supplies and stuff and was going to go back and get some more. Okay. But in the meantime, they got killed. Nobody knows where they're at. Killed them right off. Of course, there's other people that stumbled onto it by accident, picked mm -hmm. it up, and then got lost, couldn't find their way out of the mountains. Because back in there, you got like, oh, you got at least 11 canyons, really deep okay. canyons. This is over in what area? This is in the Superstition Mountains. Oh, okay. It's yeah, about yeah. 25 miles long, 20, 25 miles the other way. Yeah. It's up by, um, well, let's see, uh, there's three lakes there. There's Apache Lake. And then there's uh, Roosevelt Lake and so forth. Up the old uh, Army Trail, there used to be an old Army Trail that the uh, soldiers would take. Mm. Uh, to, you know, when they was fighting Geronimo and you know right. people like that. And, uh, and he's hid the treasure in there too, you know, because he couldn't carry it all over the place. I mean, Indians didn't carry gold. Mm. You know, they didn't and only to trade with white people to right. you know buy rifles. <laughs> Besides and, that, they didn't need it. Or? Yeah, they didn't need it. They were self-sufficient, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's been, like I said, different people. Uh, there's a historical society down in Goldfield that uh, a friend of mine, he, um, he uh, rents horses down there. That's where I get my horses and uh, down at the stables, Goldfield. And uh, we um, go back in and there's been, oh, probably 20 members that I know that's looked for it for 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. And they're older than I am, you know, some of you. And I'm 71. So it's one of those things that uh, I've been watching. 
I've been in the mountains eight, probably eight years camping different times and you know trying to find it. It's dangerous. Yeah. I mean, you got rattlesnakes in there. You got mountain lions, bears. What about the uh, native Indians as well as there's well, people that have claims on the? They'll fire at you. You'll hear shots coming from. Well, sometimes you don't know where. that's true, but uh, I've been lucky enough that that hasn't happened to me. Now, I was hoping you would ask who is the lost Dutchman and what is the legend of the mine itself. Well, the, he, him and his friend. Uh, he had a friend uh, that came from Germany too, and they, they were called. Uh, the Dutchmen, but they're really Germans. Okay. Deutsch. I mean, yes. They called them Deutsch, you know, Deutsch, back yeah. in the day. But uh, it, it's a. Uh, he got killed, but he got out and he gave uh, this doctor a, a map. And the doctor wasn't interested because he was a doctor and he, he was making enough money and he was helping the Indians and so forth. <coughs> so he didn't really look for the treasure. Mm -hmm. uh, but he had, he did have one of the original maps. And so there is some maps out there. You can probably buy a phony map for a couple of dollars or so, but you know back then. Right. But it, it, uh, they won't lead you a lot of places. It's like 20 people tell you, uh, like you know, when school school kids are having a contest or something, and you tell one kid and he tells another one back. That on the 20th kid, it won't be the same story at all. Right. You know, it's the same thing with the treasure maps. People might sell you something. And you won't be able to find it. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's one of those things. It's, uh, I've looked at them and tried to figure it out. I, I was closer when I first started than I am now sometimes. Because I got reading all these books. So I got about probably 20 books that the writers from 1890 down to now has wrote books mm -hmm. and put in knowledge and stuff. But the trouble is, they don't give you enough facts. It's not like murder. A murder mystery or something where you have facts and you find a body and the, who did it. This tells you there's a treasure and you find it. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those days. Okay, let's do this.